Hi there, it's me, Teacher Mike from Phuket Pals. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to plan your time effectively for IELTS Essay Task 2. Now, I've been teaching IELTS for over 15 years, and one of the biggest mistakes I see many, many IELTS students making is not approaching uh, the IELTS Writing Task 2 systematically enough. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is very a large proportion of students will just open the exam paper on the big day, they'll look at the question and they'll just start writing. They panic. They think, I've only 40 minutes, I've got 250 words minimum to write, I need to get going, I've got no time to waste. Let me tell you, I've seen it so many times. If you do this, you will be disappointed with your score, okay? What you need to do is take a step back from this crazy man approach okay in your practice one month before two months before whatever it is whatever time you have and you want to think how can i approach this question and the 40 minutes that i have and make the most of the time that's there okay i'm going to show you how to do that let's look at the board here we can see the best way to break down the 40 minutes okay we've got 40 minutes in total here that's the full the full uh, essay task two task um, what I advise students is to spend the first five minutes planning their answer. Now, in that first five minutes, you have to look at the question, you have to analyze the question, you have to make sure you know which essay type you're doing, you have to make sure there's nothing in there, no, no keywords in there that are going to throw you off, or you have to make sure that you will talk about everything that's in that question. Don't leave anything out, okay? You have to get your head around all those ideas and then you have to plan your essay. Now, when you plan your essay, you'll be planning your body paragraphs effectively. You'll be planning your main ideas of your body paragraphs and your supporting ideas, uh, including examples um, for that. So that's what you'll be doing in the first five minutes. In the second five minutes, you'll be writing your introduction for the essay. Now, your introduction will only be two or three sentences. So you should be able to do this very, very quickly in, in five minutes here. You might even do it quicker than that, maybe three minutes. And that's great, because that'll give you more time to concentrate on the most important bit, which is the body in here. In your introduction, you'll just be giving a general background sentence. Then you'll be you know, telling the examiner, if it's a, an opinion essay, you'll be telling him what your position is, okay? and. Uh, if it's a discussion essay, you'll be telling them what the different things are that you're going to discuss in this essay. Nothing complicated, okay? I always tell my students, keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate things. Make sure you're just not making any language errors. That's the main thing. Then onto the most important part of essay task two, which is the body. You've got 10 minutes approximately for each body paragraph. Now, when I, when I teach students privately or in groups uh, here, what I do is uh, I will practice these 10 minute slots with them. And I advise you at home, do that as well. So what you should do is give yourself a topic sentence. Um, you can take a topic sentence off, you know, they're, they're just a, write yourself a topic sentence about any topic. It could be something like uh, school uniforms have many advantages or school uniforms have many disadvantages, or something like um, fast food should be banned from schools. Something like this, a little topic sentence, get on your stopwatch, beep, and give yourself 10 minutes to write an effective body paragraph. Keep hammering that, keep practicing that for 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Don't forget, you get the most points in this body, okay? The introduction, you need to practice too, but it's, it's much easier and it'll come quicker. The conclusion, which will, sorry, the conclusion, which we'll come on to, is much easier as well. Uh, and we'll come on to that in a bit. But you need to hammer, just practice, practice, practice these 10 minute writing blasts, as I call them, 10 minute writing blasts. Give yourself a topic sentence, hit your, hit your stopwatch, and then 10 minutes you have to write a complete body paragraph and you need at least five sentences in there you're going to have in your you know in one body paragraph you're going to have a topic sentence at the top which is the main idea of your paragraph you're going to ex uh, pro explain that a little bit you're going to give an example to support that you're going to give maybe an a result of that example 
and then perhaps at the end you have a little sentence that kind of repeats your topic sentence again in different words okay that's one way of doing it and um, so you need to practice this a lot guys you cannot I cannot stress this enough um, <clears throat> it's not I always advise my students not to just always do full essays in your preparation time don't always just sit down and go okay 40 minutes go like that don't always do that sit down and go okay here's a topic sentence here's 10 minutes go here's another here's another topic sentence 10 minutes go and um, when you kind of practice in these you know piece by piece it really improves your skills it sharpens your skills makes you quicker and then when you come to write a full one it's no hassle whatsoever same with the introduction and the conclusion okay L look at a look at an essay online you can look at an essay online and then write a conclusion for it as quickly as you can um, it's a little bit easier to do this for the intro and the body so I'm gonna focus on that a bit more um, when we get to the conclusion here again conclusion is gonna be two sentences three at the absolute maximum I usually write two myself the first sentence will kind of summarize um, what we've already said in the essay and the body and then the last sentence will re repeat uh, the main argument from the introduction again or uh, if it's a discussion essay it'll you know, state what uh, some people have these views or something like that the very very last sentence sometimes can be a prediction where you predict the future you know it is predicted that in 10 years time blah 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 or you could have a recommendation it is recommended that the government should fix this or do that or whatever you can have a recommendation as I said or a prediction as your final sentence if you want I do sometimes not always it depends on my on how much time is left okay so the last five minutes which are super important are your check now don't underestimate this <clears throat> the importance of the last five minutes in the last five minutes you need to think about your band descriptors again you need to think about your lexical resource okay your vocab you need to think about your grammar and accuracy um, you need to think about just everything that's in the band descriptors connected to writing okay paragraphing coherence cohesion all that stuff okay go back to that video if you're if you can't remember and when you in this five minutes you check to see does your essay fulfill each of those four sections okay does it fulfill task response does it answer the question directly is it clear what your arguments are is it coherent does the argument make sense throughout the essay does it flow okay does it flow like a river or is it all over the place if it if it flows it's good okay uh, think about coherence does your essay link together does the intro linked to body one does body two linked to body one does the conclusion link to the rest of it and then within each paragraph that does each sentence link to the one before okay if it does you're, you've got good cohesion and then look at your look at your word choice as well in this five minutes look at your verbs look at your nouns could you use a better word is there a phrasal verb you could use instead of something else or is there a collocation or a lexical chunk you could use instead of this piece of vocab check your uh, have you used the verb to be too many times because if you have you're using weak verbs um, try not to use verb to be too often um, try and use a verb that's stronger verb verb to be is a weak verb so is are was and where try and stay away from them as much as you can in your essay you want verbs that are meatier stronger than that um yeah and that's that's pretty much it that's what you're looking for in your five minutes and also punctuation spelling and things like that okay so that's that's how you use your 40 minutes um i hope that video helped you i strongly advise you make this part of your your home routine right away okay so thanks very much i hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you in the next one